The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. This one's going to be electric. What an airy feeling it must be to walk toward that unforgiving Hell in a Cell structure. I don't even like sitting next to it. And approaching the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Apex Predator, Randy Martin. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. They don't call this hell in a cell for nothing. I fully expect these competitors to be put through hell here tonight. And there's the bell. This one-on-one -on -one battle is underway, and you can cut the tension with a knife. Many pundits still believe there's no better way to settle a score than two people getting in that ring and fighting. Working for control. So what do you think about Randy Orton? I have to say, when I think back on all the epic matches I've seen and been a part of in WWE, for pure entertainment value, John Cena's match against our friend JBL <laughs> at Judgment Day 2005 might have topped them all. I mean, that was a grudge match of epic proportions. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. We're going to find out who's the better competitor, that's for sure. No gimmicks here, just some good old-fashioned one-on-one action. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a Hell in a Cell match for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something given the Hell in a Cell matches we've seen over the years. The moment in WWE history that you just brought up, King, right. John Cena's win in the main event at Judgment Day 2005 was one of the roughest, toughest matches in the annals of wrestling. Right. You know, our friend John may have come out on the wrong end of it, yeah. but you, I am sure, take pride in just having been a part of it. Oh, you're right, Michael. That was some match. And I know JBL likes to make excuses and still tells people he was sick that day, but you know what? I don't think that would have made one lick of difference. Nothing was going to stop John Cena that night. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Randy Orton showing some adversity right now. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark 
I can tell you this about where an opponent's head should be when he's in the ring with John Cena. If the opportunity comes up, you have got to put him away. Don't be caught off guard for one second. You're not going to get many chances to finish Cena off. And if you don't take the ones you get, you're going to regret it. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a Hell in a Cell match for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something, given the Hell in a Cell matches we've seen over the years. Ooh, nothing pretty about that. You know, King, you make a good point, so I'll ask you this about that famous durability and resilience of John Cena. What is it that allows him to stay in matches even when it looks like he's on the verge of being dominated? I mean, we've seen him come back practically from the dead so many times. Oh, you're right. John Cena is just the... Makes the cover. Two, Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. John Cena will never give up. I'm not sure John Cena can give up. If there's only fumes left in the tank, Cena will keep going. When this guy's on, look out. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious... Oh! Well, that's it. What a shot. It's all academic from here. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? You know, John Cena's one of those guys that you could say was born to perform. I mean, he grew up in a house with four brothers and a dad who's a huge WWE fan. The Cena brothers were always beating up on each other. They practically had their own WWE business. That's it. He's done. Stay down. Stay down. Here we go. John Cena setting it up. Going for the cover. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a Hell in a Cell match for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something, given the Hell in a Cell matches we've seen over the years. You know, King, we've heard John Cena talk about his family background and how all those experiences with his brothers and fathers shaped him into the superstar he is today. Right. And on one crazy episode of Monday Night Raw, when Randy Orton... Oh, boy. The RKO. That should do it, Cole. If you're just tuning in, you're watching what is guaranteed to be a Hell in a Cell match for the ages. Yeah, and that's saying something, given the Hell in a Cell matches we've seen over the years. Whoa, check this out. He might have been down, but not out. We've seen this before. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look out, John Cena is measuring. You know, Michael, I battled some powerhouses during my years in the ring, and oh my gosh! And into the cover. And the shoulder's open time. Well, as long as he's up before that three count, that's all that matters. I can't believe it! He just won't go away! Look out what's going on here. He's setting it up. Wow, he's still down after that. Some competitors just have a move they trust more than others. Good grief! How is he still coming? Hey, this may very well be it. Two, three. What a win! Man, he's got to feel great. And here's some highlights from the matchup. We may be looking at the match of the year.
Oh, boy. That was a spectacular performance. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. Here's your winner, John Cena! He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him. That was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. Now you just got to take that win and build off it. And if you guys at home are anything like me, that match has you already thinking about next year's Hell of a Cell.